What up, y'all? DC Fago guy. Today we are taking a look at the ROC's The Fucking Prelude EP that was put out at the gathering. It's still available on Twisted Shop, and it was also available on the Spooktacular Horror Show. Uh, I actually ended up picking this up because I was in love with Zodiac Imprint so much. It made me open my mind a little bit to the ROC when Kung Fu Vampire's newest album dropped back in July. There was a track featuring the ROC. Again, I loved ROC's verse on that track. So it, it was pretty much once I found out that this EP was available on Spotify, and to my knowledge still is, I actually downloaded Spotify just to listen to this because I was wanting to give ROC a fair chance now that I was a little more open-minded to him from being impressed so much with Zodiac Imprint. Now, the problem I had with the ROC before is I didn't feel like he really flowed with the beats very well and the different songs that I heard him with on Blaze, some of the different stuff I heard him on with Twisted. I just didn't really care for his flow. But Zodiac Imprint reopened it, I gave him another chance, and I ended up listening to this EP so much, or I ended up liking this EP so much, I ended up picking it up at last week's show of the Spooktacular Horror Show. Anyway, enough rambling on for a minute and a half, let's jump right into it. It is an EP, there's not a whole lot to it. That is the front. When you flip it over on the back, it shows the CD art, which I'll go ahead and show you now so I don't have to pull it out and show you. Open it up, little insert on the inside of the back side of the cover with the track listing, which is Intro, The Chalmer, A Brief History, Best Be Aware, Murderous, and For Fuck's Sake. Favorite tracks, obviously, The Chalmer is what kind of like got me into the EP right away. A Brief History is a nice little tune. It pretty much exactly how it sounds. It goes over the history of the ROC as far as musically and even touches a little bit on about um, House of Crazies and the Samhain Witch Killers. Best Be Aware is a nice little slowdown halfway through the, the EP. It's a nice little one. And then Murderous kind of closes it out pretty nicely. I'm not a big fan of For Fuck's Sake, but favorite tracks definitely are The Chalmer, Brief History, and Murderous. Best Be Aware is a nice little, it's a nice little tunage right in between. It's, it's, it's not bad at all. I like it. So really the only song I don't like is For Fuck's Sake. Uh, one thing I did want to point out that I did spot, and it's right there. You can see it right there. Same way with Blaze's Dead Vulture EP. It says copyright 2015. Now, actually, in my Dead Vulture EP review, um, I had somebody hit me up that said that it was actually a, it was a misprint because if you look on the CD also itself, the CD will actually say 2016 right there. But I forget what the name of the individual was that hit me up on that Dead Vulture EP review, but they said that they produced the beats for Dead Vulture, which I fucking love that EP. I still stand that that was the best release to come out of the gathering, and it is easily one of my favorite Blazia Dead Omi albums to come out, and it's just a fucking EP. It, there's something about those beats. You just, they get stuck in your head, they make you move with it, and you want to re listen to it. Why the fuck am I talking about Blaze? We're talking about the ROC, the fucking prelude. Overall, I really like this EP a lot. I'm glad I gave the ROC a second chance. It was great listening to the Chalmer at the Twisted Spooktacular Horror Show live. Um, what more can I say? It was a great, it was a great release. If you want to go hear it for yourself, you can head over to, uh, you can download Spotify. Is what I should say. I downloaded Spotify just to listen to it. It is on Spotify if you want to hear it. Otherwise, you can go pick it up at Twisted Shop and probably at future uh, at, at future concerts because, like I said, they did have it on the Spooktacular Horror Show, which is obviously where I picked this up. I like it. Definitely go give it a listen. If you're not a big fan of ROC, give it, just give it a chance. Approach it with an open mind. That's what I had to do, and I'm actually becoming more of an ROC fan. That being said, I'm DC Fago Guy. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.